Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. So I picked up this game for on Steam for $20. Because that's how much it was. I think they were having a sale, but I'm not really quite sure. Um, I mean, I already bought it. Oh, well. Um, okay, so the... Okay, so we're doing a playthrough, and I want to go over what I kind of want the playthrough to be, but first I want to talk about the game really quick. Um, as of right now, it is just kind of an open sandbox game. There is no career modes, there's no this, there, there's a couple scenarios, but there's only about four. Uh, but sandbox, I mean, we're talking... There's a bunch of planets and stuff, and you can build rockets. Like, there's a lot out there, but it's in... Still being programmed. So it's one of those games. Uh, it's not complete, but it is... Because it's not complete, it is cheaper. You know, buying it now, you get all the updates, you know. And such. Now, in this playthrough... Um... It, okay, in the playthrough... Let's just start the game, and maybe we can talk about... Well, okay, so in this playthrough, it's playthrough, whatever, what I want it to be is fun, murder, and science. That is what this playthrough is going to be. We're going to have fun, we're going to test stuff, you know, I'm going to test stuff. I did a lot of research and playing around, and I kind of am understanding the physics of this game. There will definitely be maybe some more funny parts and stuff, I don't know, like murdering and seeing what we can kind of have fun with, especially in a, a sandbox game that plays around with physics. You know you have to play around and have some fun. Uh, but I I will talk a little bit about the physics. I don't... I want to stay away from throwing any equations on... So I don't think I'll deal with any equations or like graphs or pictures. Just But I'll explain maybe some of the concepts uh, to my knowledge. Uh, the knowledge that I have about the concept and how it's working. You know, how it affects this game and... Maybe how it's programmed. Maybe, oh, I read it's not programmed like exactly how it works in real life. This is how they do it. Stuff like that. Okay. So let's name myself Anomalous T. Let's change the flag to, uh, I already kind of looked at him once. And I, I just like this orange one here. I don't know why. So we're going to click that. It'd be cool if you could design one. Oh, except I got it. So, I mean, see, okay, so there's sandbox, and there's sandbox, and career doesn't exist. So, that's that. Uh, just for right now, though, but obviously they're planning. Uh, yeah, I had some stuff that we can just get rid of, because it's kind of pointless. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of begin- I'm gonna explain things as if you haven't seen anything about this game, and you haven't played it. So if you have played it and you do know about it, and you're just watching like a playthrough, bear with me a little bit. Okay, so here is a space plane hangar. This is where you build space planes. So like more airplane kind of things. This is the vehicle assembly building, which is more like rockets. Things that are going to actually take you to outer space, if you so desire. This is the tracking station. You can look at, you know, your things in orbit or in other things. And this is the launch pad to launch your rockets. And this over here is the uh, runway to, you know, launch your space plane. And here's my flag. Flagpole. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there might be more to the game, but that's as much as the game as I know so far. Okay, so let's, um... So let's, so what I want to do this first episode is just build a really basic rocket, what I know about it, and what I'm doing, and kind of explain what's going on. So right here we got the command pod, it's pretty basic, so we're going to start with that. This is, you know, where your person's going to sit, your Kerbal, your your little guy, he's going to sit in there. Uh, then we are going to go to control. Now there's these SAS modules. We're just going to buy the regular one, or get the regular one, we're not really buying anything. And the SAS module lets you... Uh, keeps you steady. So that's what that does. It's gonna, you know, keep us steady when we're in orbit and stuff. Now we are gonna get this decoupler. And uh, if you don't know what a decoupler is, it's basically, you know, have you seen like a rocket launch? And it launches and it's got those big orange 
reddish tanks on the side and then once you know those are used up it like falls off that's what the decoupler does it breaks away whatever you don't need anymore on your rocket so you just have what you need so we're gonna throw a decoupler on there uh, then we need a rocket right so let's get some fuel propulsion uh, and let's just get a basic um, Uh, I'm looking at the liquid fuel in the... Okay, not that one. That one's huge. Uh, just this one. This one looks pretty basic. So we'll just give it some basic fuel. Uh, we'll give it two. Because why not? So let's throw two on there. Uh, and you can stack fuel tanks like this. And you get double the fuel then. Okay, and let's give it a basic uh, liquid fuel engine here. Um, okay, thrust... Okay, and I kind of looked at what this was and stuff, but Ooh, ISP. Yeah, I don't know what necessarily all of this stuff is, but I figure we're gonna get into more of that later. Right now, I'm just trying to build something that'll get off the ground. Is what I'm hoping for. Uh, I think this is what I want. This is pretty just a basic rocket here. Yeah, let's go with this one. So let's throw that at the bottom. And as you can see, our, our rocket is uh, coming along. That's not working. Okay. Sorry, I thought shift and control would zoom in and out, but it doesn't. Okay, so here's our rocket. Let's add um, a parachute. Ooh, if I remember where one is. I think it's in here. Uh, yep. Here we go. So this is a basic parachute. So let's go with, let's just throw that on top of here. Oh. Yeah, my scrolling's backwards. That's going to be kind of confusing. Okay, sorry. So, I know, what am I talking about? It's like, what are you talking about? I don't really know. Okay, so that is that. Uh, we're not going to throw any wings on it or anything. Just real basic. I feel like I'm forgetting something though. Uh, science? Nope, we're not including any science. Uh, we're not going to include any of this stuff. Uh, structural, uh, not yet, maybe later, I mean, well, definitely later, not control, don't do that. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all we're doing. And, uh, let's make this actually a separate stage. So then we got stages over here, and, uh, so I think... If I'm not mistaken, this is called a one-stage rocket because it of the one decoupler. So it will go through and then you can decouple and then that is that one stage. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's name it. Let's name it as... First Rocket. Yay, with that, we won't include the exclamation mark. Uh, you probably couldn't really see it, but I did type an exclamation mark. So let's save this thing. Probably not, who really cares? Uh, let's uh, launch it. Oops, uh, so let's launch it. Okay, so my computer was having a little problems uh, loading. So that it took a little while, a little longer than I thought. I thought it was gonna crash on me for a second, but it didn't. I don't know why it would crash. Uh, it's because I'm using a Mac, I know, thanks. Uh, so here we got the rocket. Now here's okay so here are the the things I want to know or I want to tell you about this launch okay so they might have updated the the uh, equations and stuff but as of right now what I think it works is okay so normally drag which is gonna slow you down because of air uh, drag does not work in the game like it works in real life you know there's no sound I don't think there's sound for this part okay Drag does not work like it does in real life. Every thing, every item you put on the ship just has this drag value. Uh, and so the more things you have on the ship, the more drag, which isn't necessarily how it would work in real life. Cause like if you put like a nose cone or something pointed at the top of your ship, it would reduce drag in real life. But in this game, it would actually add drag. So drag is a little funky, um, you know, but 
Obviously, they're not programming an exact rocket science simulator that would probably take a supercomputer to do all the calculations very precisely. This is just supposed to be a game, and it's supposed to be fun. So, let's see. What are we going to do? We got to up the throttle, which uh, you don't want to make it all the way because uh, oops, all the way is going to be too much drag because you you're going too fast. I think. I don't know. I, it's going to be a lot of testing. And, um, oh, we want to turn. Okay, you hit T. And that's this SAS lit up down here, right here. And that's going to stabilize the rocket so it doesn't go too far left or too far right or other things like that. So let's uh, launch it in T, T minus 3. Ooh. They don't actually say the 2 and the 1. Whatever, let's go. Woo! So I can look at my speed here. And I can start to slow down if I ever uh, start to slow down due to drag. Uh, because that's how drag works, if you didn't know. Uh, the faster you go, the more drag it is. So you can't just go, like, as fast as possible. You need to, like, find this balance between going so fast and how much drag is pushing resistance so you're getting the most use out of your fuel. Uh, that's really the point. Uh, so we're still climbing in speed. Oh yeah, look at this line. Oh, look at, look at, do you see Jebediah Kerman's face? He's in the bottom right corner. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm launching the rocket. Woo, let's go, I can't even see anything. Okay. Um. Nope. And uh, the rocket's getting kind of uh, unstable on me. Because there's no, you know, anything to like keep it not from being stable. And yeah, that's fun. I should probably have been controlling it more. I was just letting it go. Uh, so you can add a bunch of parts that help it, like, stabilize. But, you know, I didn't. Because, uh, you know, I was like, whatever. This is, this is a basic rocket. Okay. Uh, so basically, I don't know. I guess we're just going to look at, like, how high I get. I don't think we'll make it to space with just uh, what I put on there. So, uh, oops. Don't go that way. Go this way. Yep, yep. Yep, there you go. Oh. There you go, way to go. Keep going. You can add more of those SAS units. Oops, I'm clicking the wrong direction. Uh, you can add more of those SAS units if you've got a bigger rocket and it'll make it more stabilized and stuff, so... Yeah, uh, but again, this is just, this is my first launch ever. Well, it's not really my first launch ever. Oh, there we go. Let's throw out a fuel. So let's, so here, okay, so I can hit space bar. Oops, and these are in the wrong direction. Can I switch these like this? Okay, so if I hit space bar, uh, it's going to, it should decouple. Um... And I launched the parachute. I have no idea. Okay, well, let's look at the map. Uh, so here I am. Uh, I I made I did. It looks like I did make it out of. Uh, did I make it out of the atmosphere? Uh, no, I'm still in the atmosphere. I'm still in the. You can see up here in the top right here, this blue bar that designates atmosphere. So it looks like I'm still in. Ooh, what does hitting a board do? I don't know. Let's not do that. Let's play. <laughs> Should I hit him? We'll hit a board maybe at the end. So it looks like I'm actually going to be able to leave. I might leave the atmosphere. But eventually, the planet's gravity will suck me back down. Um, I have to have fuel left over to actually put myself in orbit. I don't. Just lifting off because you have to start turning and stuff. But uh, we did get pretty high. I don't know why it didn't detach, but does it have to be like going down or I don't know. So let's speed this up. Yeah, I know. Uh, be careful. So yeah, so th this is one of the things. You can warp time forward and it says warping time will affect like the physics, which it shouldn't. <laughs> Right, but it does because it's a program, and you know programs aren't perfect. Ooh, I don't know what this eye and stuff. Uh, first rocket. 
uh, part amount, total mass, suborbital, velocity, altitude. That's cool. What if I click this? Courage and stupidity. That's new. I don't remember this being uh, on that. In the demo. So that's that. Uh, so we're falling back down. And uh, I, thi I think uh, once you hit like so some certain part of the atmosphere, the parachute will launch. Um, but I don't know what I did wrong to... Uh, it might the problem is it didn't decouple, so it might actually not slow itself down fast enough. Uh, which could be a problem. <laughs> so... Well, uh, let's see. Well, let's hit abort. You want to see what abort does? I don't know. Does Jebediah have a... Okay, so here's the thing. I don't really know if this is like... Any of this is important. Um... I can evacuate him. I don't know if I want to do that though. I think I should land. I'm getting. I'm slowing down. Oh my gosh! I'm not. I'm not slowing down enough. Oh my gosh! He's gonna. Oh, there. There's the play. Up. He evacuated. Woo! Evacuation. Now you're gonna fall about half a kilometer. Uh. Oh, did you die? Can they die? I don't know. Oh, he's like, I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. Where's the ship? Where's the ship? I don't see my ship. I fell. I fell, guys. I'm okay. I'm okay. Woo. I'm okay. I made it. I'm alive. I fell into this huge plain of grass where there's nothing. Uh, can someone help me, please? Please? Oh my gosh, this ship! Ah, run away! Oh god, it exploded! Ah, run away! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so scared! Oh god, god! It, oh my god, it's over! Uh, okay, it's over. Yay. I lived. Okay, so that was part one of the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, so I'm still learning. Hopefully you can learn with me, watch me, maybe learn a little bit about rocket science, maybe murder some Kerbals. Even though, man, falling from half a kilometer and he lived, he's pretty, he's pretty immune and sturdy, I would say. But, uh, click the annotation. I should have an annotation up for episode two, maybe. Hopefully. I'm smart enough to do that, but maybe I don't know. I'm too lazy. I don't know. No, I'm just joking. There should be an annotation. I am the king of bad jokes, I guess. Um, that is my goal, to say things where you would awkwardly laugh in a public setting, but of course you're nude looking at your computer, so why the hell would you laugh at anything that isn't absolutely hysterical? I don't know. That's all I have to say. Check out episode two, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.